Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ruchach, Wadash, Yahweh being Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, the Bayath, the Dawada, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are staying in the Holy Spirit and keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability, day in and day out, and double honest to the apostles of the great millstone who I learned this truth from. All right, so just real quick, um, just something I was just came came across in uh, social media, and it kind of, kind of ties into that whole uh, you know uh, hugging, um, and and uh, forgiving you know spirit that you know these docile Jakes are in when it comes to uh, their mortal enemy Esau Edom. All right, which you know the Edomites have have been and always will be the uh, enemies to uh, the Israelites. Okay, that's that was set up through the spirit. All right, the scripture tells you that good is set against evil, all right, uh, uh, wickedness against righteousness, all right? So there's nothing that, you know, you Jakes, you know, uh, uh, you Israelites that want to be friends and, and, and joining hand in hand with these uh, Edomites, all right, the nation of Esau, Edom, there's nothing that you can do that's going to change the, uh, the spiritual uh, uh, enmity that is between, okay, the, uh, the seed of Jacob and the seed of Esau, all right, and and you Edom and and you uh, Israelites fail to realize, even though the, <laughs> these Edomites are showing you time and time and time again that these Edomites don't don't care about you. All right, they don't have sympathy for you. They don't want your apologies. They don't want to uh, uh, you know be friends with you. All right, all they want is for you to be either destroyed or underneath them. Point blank. Period. Okay, and you know, like I said, you know, I just came across this article. Because this uh, chick, uh, Cynthia or Cynthia Brown, uh, apologizes to the family of the man that she killed while allegedly being attacked. Okay, so the man that, you know, uh, if you know the story, she basically was uh, sex trafficked at, at the age of 16. And, uh, 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 you know, an adult male Edomite man basically, you know, uh, uh, kidnapped her and was holding her hostage, you know, for uh, sex. And, and she ended up escaping by uh, killing him. Okay, but here it is now, um, and she was in jail, I believe, for like ten years. All right, or even maybe even longer than longer for that. But she was in jail for life, but she got out. But um, here she is now, you know, as so-called free woman, and she's here apologizing to the family. All right, and that's what you Jakes, man. That's why hey, this, the Lord is gonna put the spirit on these Edomites to go full fledged on you Israelites out here in these streets, man. Okay, because. Once again, over and over and over, you would you just show yourself to be uh, slaves, man. Show yourself to be pussyfooting and just and just beat down and trodden down and, and have no fucking backbone, okay? Like I said, man, that these Edomites don't care about any of your well being. All right, here it is. You just had that that lady, okay, Amber uh, Geiger, whatever. She just got convicted ten years, and then a brother wants to go hug her and, and say, "I forgive you." Okay, you got the, the 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 families that happened uh over there in was that North Carolina, all right, a couple of years ago, where that Edomite kid shot up all those shot up those nine people, nine Jakes in the church, and then those families forgave him, okay? And then and then now you got this chick forgiven saying I, 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 she wants to apologize to the to the family of the uh of the guy that was sex trafficking her, you know, raping her, all right? And then you just had uh, a cop well, in Texas, what two days, two or three days ago, just killed a, another lady, a, a, a Israelite woman in her house while she was playing video games with her son. So how much more proof do you need, man? All right, but that's but the the topic or the the point of this lesson is like what that the true men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, and a few sisters, okay, that are in the spirit of Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai himself is not going to be taking no apologies and is not going to be apologizing. All right, and is not going to be saying he uh, we forgive you, man. Okay, because the scriptures tells you that you're going to get double unto what you have done to us, man. Point blank, period. And that's what we're waiting for. All right, so I just want to play this clip and then I'm going to uh, get a couple of scriptures. I don't think that we can tell someone how to feel when they've been through something like that. And I completely understand. Like, they've lost a loved one. I took that person from them. And, you know, of course, I would tell them that I apologize if they would ever want an opportunity to speak with me, I'd be more than happy to you speak talk to them. them. I would. Completely understandable. I don't think... And, and this is the reason why you, Jakes, are just going to continue to... When Esau comes in comes in like a flood, then you're going to get your wake-up call, man. All right? Because you Israelites, you time in, uh, over and over and over, 
All right, doesn't matter what these Edomites do, you always going to make excuses. You always going to uh, try to uh, uh, befriend them, man. All right, you befriending your enemy. The scriptures tell you never trust thine enemy. All right, never trust thine enemy. But here it is. There's once again you want to apologize for for saving your life. This chick, she saved her life by by taking this this devil's life that was uh uh, uh you know um sex trafficking her, and she wants to apologize for that. Okay, but when the time comes where these devils show their full fledged horns on you Israelites, let's see if you're gonna be apologizing then. Let's see if you're gonna be saying, "Oh, you forgive them then, man." Okay, and this is the spirit that the men, the true men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are in, man. The true men of the Lord, the, the patience and the faith of the saints. Let me get that real quick, all right? Because we're not we're not taking no we're not forgiving you for none of your, your atrocities, all right? We're not gonna bury the hatchet, all right? Because why? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai hasn't buried the hatchet, man. All right, the scriptures, the Lord said that he requires the things of, of the past. All right, Ver, uh, Revelation 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. All right, the, the saints of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the, the ones who are in, the, in, in patiently waiting for, for our redemption and our revenge, this is what we're waiting for, man. Okay, waiting to get you devils into captivity and to slaughter you with the sword as you've done to our people, man, as you've done to us and as you have continued to do to us. Okay, there is no other way around that. All right, this is um, Jeremiah 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And that's starting with the, uh, uh, the Edomites, man, the chief house, the synagogue of Satan, okay? From you Amalekites, all you Edomites, and all you other heathens, man, that had a part in, in the downfall of the nation of Israel. Therefore, all this is the this is the judgment that is written, man. Okay, and the judgment is not going to be overturned, it's not going to be voided. Therefore, all they that devoured thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries. You see that? You Israelites need to wake the hell up and realize that you got adversaries, man. Okay? You got enemies, you got people that are coming up against you, people that want wants to destroy you. Specifically the, the house of Esau Okay But this is the judgment for them And all thine adversaries Not a, Every one of them shall go into captivity Not forgiving Not apologizing for, for taking uh, 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 up arms and defending yourself No, they're going to go into captivity And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil Okay You just had a so-called uh, Christopher Columbus Day celebrated Still in 2019 After all the shit that that all the information about this devil Christopher Columbus, what he has done, okay, all that is out there, and and, and, and it's in mainstream media, it's everywhere. But you still got Edomites that celebrate uh, uh, this uh, uh, Christopher Columbus, man. You still got Edomites that hold this guy up a, in high esteem, and he, and he should, and they should, I should say, they should hold him up in high esteem because that's their people. But here it is, our people don't wanna don't wanna take any any uh uh, uh any self. So uh, uh, pride in themselves, man. We're not pride, but they don't want to they don't want to uh, uh, love themselves, man. OK, they just want to just always forgive and, and, and say sorry to their to their adversaries. All right. And while these devils are still stabbing you in the back, they're still spoiling, spoiling you. All right. They're still rape, robbing, murdering you. They're still uh, uh, cheating you. OK, but here it is. You still want to you still want to be a fucking slave to these devils, man. All right, it says, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. All right, and blessed be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, because if, if it was up to you, two thirds of you Israelites, man, we would just be in slavery forever, man. All right, we would just have these Edomites uh, over us forever, and you would just keep begging them to give you more and more crumbs, man. All right, that fucking saying that these docile jakes always say oh, oh we just want to seat at the table we just want to seat at the table man hey man that's why you a lot of you Israelites has got to go man okay because y'all are in the way all right well Yahweh Shah returns when he comes back he's not coming back for negotiations he's not coming back for 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 an uh, uh to, to hear I'm, I'm i'm sorry by these edomites or in these other nations okay he's not coming back to forgive or say oh, oh you crucified me you know but i forgive you i forgive you pontius Pilate. i forgive you the Rome. the lord ain't doing that shit man when the lord comes back he's coming back roaring man all right the scriptures tells you that all i shall see him all right even them that pierced him okay and the whole earth is going well because of him why because he's not coming back for no damn apologies he's not coming back to forgive anybody for the for the shit that they did to him and to his people okay he's coming back as a conquering lion man 
All right, and he's gonna be a pre and he's gonna be a predator upon these heathens, man, and upon two thirds of Israel that want to join hand in hand with these devils. All right, this is Isaiah, uh, Psalm chapter one thirty seven, one thirty seven verse eight. It says, "Oh, uh, I'm gonna start at seven. It says, "Remember, remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom." Okay, not forget, not forgive, not just let bygones be bygones. But this is what this is what the 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 message is saying, man. All right. This is what the uh, uh, <clears throat> I believe is King David. I'm not sure exactly who wrote this psalm, but this is what the, uh, the a saint of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is saying. It says, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. That's all of them. OK, not just one specific here or one there. All of the children, all of the seed of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it even to the foundation thereof. You see that? That's the mentality of these Edomites, man. Raise it, meaning destroy it, destroy it, erase it, okay? They want, they want to destroy your name, your heritage, your land, your race, your seed. That's what these Edomites want to do to you, Israelites, man. Why here you want to just, oh, I apologize for, for defending myself, okay? No, the Lord and the men of the Lord are in the, in the mindset of remember what these Edomites have done unto us, man. From the time of, of, of Babylon, from the time of us coming out of Egypt, all right, from the time of us uh, uh, coming in over here in the cargo slave ships, all right, from the time of the Jim Crow laws, from the time of the civil rights to the time of 2019, right now, man, all of it, man. Remember, hey, to the time of the garden, from Adam, from Abel and uh, uh, Cain, all right? It says, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Okay, that's the judgment. O daughter of Babylon, which is America, who art to be destroyed, will be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Point blank, period, man. The men of the Lord are going to be happy. Why? Because that's the faith and the patience of, of the saints. This is what we're waiting for, man. We're waiting to get revenge upon our enemies. We're waiting to get the, the, the necks of our enemies in our hands, man. Okay? As it was promised unto, unto Yahweh Shai first and foremost and to his saints. Okay? It says, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against, thy, against the stones. All right? So we're going to be happy doing this, man. Okay? We're going to be happy getting revenge on these devils. All right? This is... um. Close it out. I'll get one more. And there's plenty of scriptures that shows you the judgment, all right, that the men of the Lord are waiting for, okay, that the Lord has promised his saints, all right? There's plenty of scriptures on that. So you in that spirit of uh, that mindset of joining hand in hand with these devils, you in that mindset of, uh, hey, just let them, uh, uh, let bygones be bygones, and I'm sorry if, if I did anything to hurt you, whatever, hey, hey, then then you be in that spirit, but the men of the Lord are in this spirit, okay? And this is the spirit that Yahweh Shai himself is coming back with. Isaiah, I mean, Psalms 149, verse 6, let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance, all right? What's that word vengeance mean, man? Because that's what we're we waiting for, to execute vengeance, revenge, okay? And that vengeance is going to come by way of, of Yahweh Shai, man, all right? It says, avengement, whether the act or the passion, avenge, vengeance, uh, revenge, vengeance. All right? So we're going to execute vengeance. Let's finish it up. It says, let the, uh, to execute vengeance upon the heathen. What is a heathen? A non-Israelite. Okay? Starting once again with the daughter of Edom, the children of Edom, I should say. And punishments upon the people. So these, these heathens must be, will be punished. Okay, they're going to go into captivity. They're going to be slaughtered with the sword. The children are going to be dashed to the stones. All right, their 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 women are going to be spoiled. Okay, their wealth are going to be taken from them. They're going to be thrown into chains into pits into slavery. That's just what it is, man. Okay, and if any of you Israelites, any of you bonehead, simple, pussified Israelites, men, women, or children that want to join hand in hand with the devil, with the enemy that got a problem with that, then guess what? You are gonna get slaughtered too, man. All right. As Yahweh Shah said, those my enemies that should not that I reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So if you any of you Israelites that got a problem with the judgment that's written, then then you're gonna have to get you're gonna have to be taken out the way too, man. Okay? It says to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. 
to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, iron, slavery, to execute upon them the judgment written. Okay, and if the judgment is written, that's what's gonna be, man. Okay, the Lord's word does not go back void. And if he and if he said it, it's gonna be accomplished. This honor, and it's an honor to have this, man. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and it's going to be an honor to execute vengeance upon these he's upon these heathens, man. All right, not not forgiving them, not apologizing. We ain't going to be a best believe we're not going to be apologizing one bit when we put in these, you you uh, Edomites into slavery. Okay, when you Rothschilds and you Rockefellers, all right, you uh, you you kings and you noble ones of this world. When we put throwing you into captivity, and we ain't gonna be doing that uh, uh, sorrowful, man. We gonna be screaming right here, verse six, like the high praises. We gonna be screaming at the top of our lungs, man. Call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for giving us the power to execute vengeance upon you devils, man. All right, and that's just what it is, man. So with that, call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.